I'm here today with a testing new products video. I have a bunch of stuff that I'm testing for you today. We have a new eyeliner, we have foundation, blush, mascara, uh, highlighter, did I say highlighter? Lip products, quite a few new things that I am trying today and haven't done a testing new products video in a hot minute. So if you guys are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Cassie. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and decided to stay a while by hitting that subscribe button. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up before you leave and hit that notification bell. That way you're notified of any new videos that come out. And yeah, without further ado, let's just get into the testing new products. Okay, so we are gonna test out a bunch of new makeup today. Um, I kinda just did my eyes. I have some palettes to test out, but I wasn't like really feeling the palettes that I had today. They all have a lot of shimmers and I just kinda wanted to do a matte eye. And so we didn't do an eye look, but I have a ton of other products that we're gonna try out today. We have Dose of Colors, Makeup Revolution, Milk, just a bunch of stuff, Laura Mercier. So, um, do I want to do my liner? Do I want to do? Yeah, let's do our face. Let's do the foundation first. Um, I'm going to use this. I haven't used this yet. Smashbox So Chill Coconut Water. This was a collab with uh, Nikki Conci uh, Nicole Concilio. So, um, I just finished. Wow, that smells delightful. Um, if you watched my primer spray video that just went up, well, I uploaded it yesterday, but when this goes up, It'll have been up for at least a week. Um, I had finally just finished yesterday, actually, my uh, Too Faced primer water. So I pulled that one out because I hadn't got a chance to use it yet. The primer I'm using, this is almost gone. I probably have one, two more uses. The Becca for Slight Priming Filter, I love this. Really nice, more sticky type primer. I really like it. It's not really pore filling or anything, but it does just provide a really nice base. And obviously I really like it because <laughs> It's almost gone. The foundation we're gonna use is this Blur Liquid by Milk. I just picked this up. I know this isn't a new foundation, but I honestly haven't seen very many reviews on it. Um, I don't even really know when it came out. It didn't come out like a really long time ago, but I really wanted to try it. It was at my Sephora at my Ulta. <laughs> it was at my Sephora at my Ulta, that doesn't make sense. It was at my Sephora inside JCPenney's. So this is a Blur Blur Liquid Matte Foundation, full coverage, water thin, which you guys know I love lightweight, you know, thin, weightless foundations. Long wearing, matte finish. It also says it's weightless, silicone free, won't clog pores. Your skin can still breathe. It's got blurring microspheres to minimize the appearance of pores, fine lines, and imperfections. So I'm excited about that. So that's why I didn't do a pore filling primer. I have the shade Light. I think it'll work. So let's start with this side. Um, I really love the new Dior Backstage one. That one like really does blur your pores. It's so nice, uh, but it's more of a maybe medium coverage. I actually ordered the full size because I got the little sample size from Sephora and I like it so much that I ordered the full size. Okay, hopefully, hopefully you can see this. Um, it did cover that pimple right there really nicely. And I do feel like it really did blur a lot of those pores. Like I feel like compared to this side, it really did do a nice job of blurring pores. I am feeling like it's making my skin look a little bit textury, which I don't love. Let's zoom you back out. I feel like it's making my skin look a little bit textury up close, but from far away, I feel like it looks pretty nice. So let's go this side, this side I have like, gosh, my skin is like breaking out like a teenager. Uh, if you followed me throughout the years, and this is about how much I put on the other side, so you don't need a ton of product. Um, I don't have acneic skin. I've never had acneic skin. I didn't really have acne in high school. Uh, I've never just, I've never struggled with it. My mom also never struggled with acne, so I think I got her really good skin. Um, but I, this is like the most zits I've ever had at one given time. And if you struggle with acne, you're probably like, girl, I don't even wanna hear it. But I've like never had acne problems. And so all these breakouts are just killing me. It could be, maybe it's cause I've been eating a lot of ice cream. Uh, 
I don't even really like ice cream, but this pregnancy and with Ethan, Ben and Jerry's ice cream was like my jam. Um, I'm just not sure if I love how it's kind of making me look slightly textured, um, kind of in this area. And I feel like it's starting to settle. Like I can see almost like bunching or puckering right in my smile line. So we'll set those and see if that helps it. There's just some foundations that I found lately that do weird things like around my smile lines and I've never really had an issue with that before. With our concealer, the Laura Mercier Fusion. If you have not tried this yet, it's so bomb, it's so good. It's very lightweight. The foundation also amazing. So definitely recommend it if you're in the market for a new concealer. I mix 2C and 1C together and it just seems to work really good. This one is 2C, the first one I used was 1C. And if you're curious about what eyeshadows I used, it was just a bunch of matte color pop shadows that are in my little palette, like they're pressed single shadows. I'm still absolutely loving this for cream contour, cream bronzer. This is in the shade Honey. And then I just used the other side of this It Cosmetics brush to blend it all out. I love it because it's like a second skin. I didn't really love this concealer for under my eyes. I felt like it creased way too much. I've been loving cream blushes ever since I did my blush declutter. And this is one I've been using a ton. This is Peony or Peony from Stila. And I just use my Wet n Wild buffing brush. I use one for powder bronzer and then I use this one for my cream blush and it works really nicely. Under my eyes, my Ant Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eyes. This is almost gone again. I go through these like crazy. I think this is the number one eye powder that I have constantly gone through. This has got to be my fourth one maybe. And then I've gone through the pressed or the loose one as well, but the pressed is my favorite. I don't have a new bronzer, so I'm trying to use up some bronzers that I've like hit pan on. This is the Makeup Forever 15i, so we're gonna go in with this one. This is another brush from Wet n Wild. I'm telling you, when I filmed my five products that are better than high end, I wasn't lying when I said I use these brushes like every day. They're just so good. All right, let's do cheeks. These are new from Laura Mercier. They just sent these to me. These are their blush color fusion. I have the shade peach and I have the shade rose. Hmm, let's do rose because I've been doing a lot of peachy blushes lately. Blush, I don't know how pigmented these are, so I'll just try to go in lightly. This one is a matte. They had some that were shimmer. That's pretty. I gotta clean up that contour issue there though. Also have these Dose of Colors ones. This is the collab with I Love Serai. E. Am I saying that right? I think so. All right, this one is in Soulmate and it's a kind of a more pinky champagne. And then also have these Dose of Colors ones. This is the collab with I Love Serai. E. Am I saying that right? I think so. All right, this one is in Soulmate and it's a kind of a more pinky champagne and then bathe is more of a, oh, actually, maybe that's the pinky champagne one. Yeah, because that definitely looks more gold. Look at those, those are really pretty. Try bathe. If it's too dark, we'll try Soulmate. Another Wet n Wild brush. Just getting that into the product. I'm gonna tap off the excess. And, ooh, ooh, that's pretty. I had bought the Katie and Desi collab with Dose of Colors. And one of the, I bought both highlights and one of them was way too dark. I'm hoping, wow, that is, You can see me from outer space, that's pretty. I wanna do a wing, I kinda of wanna do a wing, but I don't wanna mess it up. Uh, obviously, since I'm pregnant, I can't do my Botox anymore. <laughs> and the one nice thing about my Botox is it raises my brow up because I do have 
like hooded on the outside. So usually when I get my Botox, it raises up these outer corners so that there's not so much skin. But this is the Revolution Makeup Revolution London Rent uh, Flick Liner or something like that. It looks like this. And we're gonna just kind of go in here and start lining. I need to bring my mirror a little closer here. Yeah, that is really matte black. New, it was sent to me by CoverGirl. It's their Flourish by Lash Blast and their Primer. Now, I'm kind of hit, hit or miss with a lot of CoverGirl mascaras. I love the Clump Crusher. That's probably my favorite of CoverGirls. So we're gonna try the primer first here. I don't really use lash primers all that often. I used to. I used, which one did I used to use? I used to use the Tarte one a long time ago. And then there was like a Giorgio Armani one, I think, that I used to use all the time. You guys know I love just a regular uh, brush. This one's a rubber one, not my favorite, but the Clump Crusher is also a rubber and I really like that one. So let's see how this one works and it's in the shade black. Okay, it's not really covering up that primer all that well. Black, it says it's in the shade black, but it's not looking all that black to me. Hmm. This is doing absolutely nothing for me, to be honest with you. Yeah, this does nothing. First of all, it's made my lashes fall. <laughs> uh, they are now stick straight again. So it's took all the curl out of them and it's not giving me length or volume. They're not even that black. So I am not a fan. This is a hard pass. Everything else I've used so far, liking it a lot. This, I don't like it all. Uh, L'Oreal Hav Havana Camilla Cabello. I think that's how you say your name. Uh, it's in the shade Light. And it is a outline fill and define your brows. I tried it on bare brows and it did zero, it did nothing for me. So I'm gonna try it with some brows filled in a little bit. Maybe this is better if you have thicker brows. So I'm doing it with my brows already filled in. It has like a slanted tip, which I thought looked kind of cool because I wanted to get more real like brow strokes. But when I didn't have any brow product in, it didn't like, like look. So I'll put fresh product on it. And then when I try to do brow strokes, they come, look how thick that is. Like that's very thick. Even if you just use the tip, there's there's just no product on it. So this, I mean, I felt like it was a fail when I first tried it on bare brows. So I wanted to try it with them filled in a little bit just to add a little bit more definition. But I feel like it's not doing anything. I feel like I'm just adding some gel to my actual brow hairs but I'm not getting any defined lines. Like, I don't know if you had sparse brows, I don't know how in the world you would fill in your brows with this because even like the lightest touch, even the lightest touch, look how thick those are. They're super thick and they're watery looking. This is a fail. This did nothing for me. I don't like it any better now that I have now I'm just kind of running it through my brows to try to see if that does anything. Pass. This was like 10 bucks too. I'd pass. Pass on this. Pass on these. I'm gonna probably return that to Ulta because it's just not good. Two lip liners from Sephora in the shade Sink or Suede. And the nudist, the nudist I've used before, I love it. So I finally bought the full size. Let's do Sink or Suede. If I can open it. They're retractable, which I love. Let me get off all the Chapstick I already have on. These are so nice. They're fairly inexpensive and I love them. They're long wearing too and they're not drying. They just glide on so easily. Mm, this color is amazing. It's a really nice kind of cooler nude. And then I'm gonna go in with this Dose of Colors Nude Chica. 
And there was three or four that came out in this collection. This is the one that stood out to me. And mm, so good. It's like the perfect nude for my skin tone. That's not like too mauve because you guys know I usually go for the mauves. Um, let me pop on some lashes while this lip color dries and then we'll try one of the lip glosses that was in this collection as well. Uh, this is dried. I love this color. It's so perfect. It's just such a perfect nude. I'm loving it. So I have two glosses here. This one, oh, so pretty. Barely there and Brillo. Let's do the one with the gold flex. It's very similar looking, in my opinion, to the uh, Katie and Desi gold gloss. Oh gosh, it smells delicious, but I just got it on my nose. I'm just tapping it on top. That added a pretty gold sheen. Also, you can feel the glitter. So if you are used to like MAC Dazzle glasses where it's kind of like chunky glitter that you can feel, uh, this kind of has that same feeling. So if you don't like the glitter feel, you probably won't like it. Um, and then this is the other gloss you can see. Definitely more opaque. This one doesn't have a scent, but I swear this one smelled like the MAC vanilla. Yeah, this one smells more vanilla-y and this one doesn't have a scent to me. So the gold gloss is pretty. I think I like this lip color um, matte better before putting on the gloss, but it's still really pretty. So let's do a really quick run through of what I like and didn't like. I'm just gonna kind of share everything that way, even if it's not new or like newly tried. If you haven't tried it, I'd let you know if you should get it. The primer water, yes, whether you get the regular Smashbox or one of the scented ones. This one again is the coconut one. I liked that scent a lot. I just love the primer water in general. Primer, awesome, love it. Obviously I'm almost done with it. Very, very good. I haven't found a foundation yet that it doesn't work well with. So far, I do like the foundation. Um, I feel like it definitely does blur, blur. <laughs> and it does feel weightless as in the fact that when I touch my face, it doesn't feel um, cakey. I probably will do check-ins throughout the day to kind of see how it's wearing. Um, so I do like it. I like it better once it's set. I do feel like it does look like I have makeup on. So it's not the most like traceless looking foundation but I do like it. So, so far I like it. We'll see how it wears throughout the day. These concealers, if you haven't tried the Laura Mercier concealers yet, you're missing out because it's bomb. Bye Bye Pores Pressed, still one of my all time favorite powders. Yes, would definitely recommend that. The Honey Color, fantastic for bronzing, contouring. If you like a cream, really easy to use, blends in like skin, yes, yes, yes. Makeup Forever Bronzer, I've talked about this many times in favorites video, I love it. It is in 15i, so it does have a slight sheen to it, but no glitter. I've obviously almost hit pan. You can see the honeycomb of the pan. Yes, I love that. Uh, the Laura Mercier blushes, these are really nice. Very pigmented. They sent me three. Sangria is a little bit too dark for my skin. Peach and then Rosé. I'll swatch them. They're definitely very pigmented. They have some that are um, have some shimmer in it, and then they have some that are matte but there's the swatches, but they blend really nicely. So even though they're pigmented, they kind of blend beautifully into the skin without being like too much. No clown cheeks, which I like. I'm loving these Stila convertible colors. The other one I use is Lilium. I use them a lot. Almost every day I have a cream blush on under my blush and I'm obsessed with that now. This liner, yes, it's matte, it's black, super easy to use. I'll try to use it in another tutorial. Ow and try to do a wing liner with it. I usually like to do wing liner prior to doing foundation, that way I can clean it up if I mess up. Um, but I like this, I definitely recommend picking that up. It's nice and black. You guys know the mascara was a hard pass for me. I don't like it. Um, these lip liners, they have quite a few colors from Sephora, the gel ones, oh, they're so good. I have probably four different shades and I really like them. This is the Suede or Sink and the Nudist is the other one that I use quite often. Again, passing on this brow thing, it just, does nothing for me. This nude Chica is gorgeous. I love it. If you like a good nude, I think you would like this. If you're sim similar skin tone to me, I think you would really like it as well because it's a little bit of a 
peachy brown nude without being too peach. I don't really like real peach colors on my lips. This was a perfect nude. These glosses seem really nice. I'll have to try them with like just maybe a lip liner. Um, I like how opaque this gloss is and this one is nice, but again, it has that kind of chunky glitter in it. So if you don't like that, then I'd probably pass on that. These highlighters are phenomenal. Like look at how that's beautiful. So yes, I definitely recommend checking these out. Uh, if you're super, super fair, like more fair than me, these are gonna be too dark, which is such a bummer. Uh, but if you are my skin tone and darker, these are fantastic. Um, I think I'm almost like borderline too fair for them, but I think I got it to work without it being like too dark, but look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I love those. I think they're so pretty. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of testing some new products. What are some new products you've been trying out lately? I have a bunch of new stuff that I bought recently from Ulta and Sephora. So I um, will have a haul up on my channel to show you guys that with swatches and then hopefully some more testing new products. So I will keep checking in throughout the day with this foundation so we can see how it holds up and I will see you guys in a little bit. Probably should tell you what time it was. I wasn't prepared to do a like try it throughout the day. It's 10 13. So um, I've had this on for about 45 minutes. Uh, yeah, about 45 minutes. So let's just say 9 30 is when I put it on. It's 10 15. We'll check in in a few hours. I'm back in with the check in. I have been taking a delightful nap for the last three hours. Uh, when Ted's gone, when Ethan's gone, and when I get my work done, this pregnant girl likes her naps. And sometimes I just need to lay down for one hour. And I find myself waking up three hours later. So I'm here with the check in. It is now almost four o'clock. It's 3.52. So it's now been six and a half hours. Is that right? Been six and a half hours and I have not touched anything up. Obviously I haven't touched my lips up. I ate in and out burger earlier, which if you guys have followed me, you've heard that I boycotted in and out for seven years because I had a C-section um, when I had Ethan and a week after I had him, I ate in and out burger and I got horrible food poisoning. If you've ever had food, food poisoning, you know how horrendous that is. Now imagine it with like a C -se a brand new C-section scar. Whew, it was horrible. But for some reason, this pregnancy in the last week, I have just craved in and out burger, which is weird because I haven't had it in like seven years. Uh, I've eaten it four times in a week. <laughs> I can't stop. So I had in and out burger and I have no lipstick on, but Besides the point, actually, I'm gonna put this on because I wanna show you how amazing this is. These are the Sephora Melting Lip Clicks. I now have two. This one is in caramel. I don't know where the other color is that I have. Maybe I just have caramel. I don't know. I thought I had two of these, but these are so easy. I do have two. Do I have two of these? I thought that I did. They're very similar to the Marc Jacobs Enamored Lip Shine um, sticks that are like this, but way cheaper. Mm, they just feel so comfortable on the lips. Um, but this liquid lip liner, this one, this liquid lip, uh, I wore the other day and it lasts all day long, but I actually wiped it all off because trying to eat a burger with gloss on, not a good combo. Um, but look at how good this foundation is. I mean, I've literally just been sleeping, you know, on my, the side of my face and it's holding up amazing. I have the most minimal, like itsy bitsy, slight, like slight shine right there. Um, six and a half hours. So I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and just get right around there. It's literally the only place that it's slightly shiny. I'm going to be doing a wear test of the new Makeup Forever foundation that I've actually been wearing quite a few times. I've worn it four times already. Um, that one for some reason does not stick to my chin. I don't know why. Even if I haven't been eating anything, it doesn't want to stick to my chin. This, I have no chin problems. Um, this pimple kind of came through a little bit, but for literally just sleeping on the side of my face, cause I sleep on my side now that I can't sleep on my stomach, um, my face still goes into my pillow. There's like no pillow marks and there's no wearing do you see? and this highlight can we can we talk about the highlight like that is still super super strong so i'm really liking this foundation my skin 
looks really good. It's not being weird in this section here. It's totally still blurred all of my pores. Girl, girl, this is good. Somehow I must have nicked my forehead. Um, it still looks great, six and a half hours. It's hot out today, but I'm really not spending too much time outside. I did, like I said, go to In-N-Out Burger and I ran a couple errands. Oh so yeah, I will check in probably one more time, but at six and a half hours, I am impressed. It is very, very rare in my check-ins. Um, I don't have oily skin. I have kind of combo skin. I can get a slight bit oily in my T-zone. Um, my skin hasn't really changed much as far as that goes being pregnant. Um, before I was pregnant with Ethan, I had super, super dry skin. After I had Ethan, my skin, actually after I stopped nursing, my skin became normal combo. Uh, never in my life did I think I'd have normal combo skin because prior to being pregnant, I had the driest skin ever, um, like flaky dry skin. So, uh, so far this pregnancy has not changed the type of skin I have. It has made me break out though, um, I think or it could be the ice cream, or it could just be the horrible air. That's also a possibility. Um, so yeah, I think this looks beautiful, like really good. And I was taking a bunch of pictures on Instagram, like stories, and it photographs gorgeously. So I'll check back in in a few hours and we'll see how it's holding up. Okay, I almost forgot to film this outro. I literally just took off my lashes and was like getting ready to go wash my face, but it is nine o'clock, so we've had this on 11 and a half hours. I've not touched up, done anything since the last video other than apply lip color. And let me zoom you in here and refocus you. I've had my glasses on and sunglasses, so it did kind of wear off a little bit right there, if you can see. Am I in focus? Yes, no. Um, so it did kind of wear off a little bit there, but look at this. I mean, we're almost at 12 hours of wear and it's holding up pretty darn good. This little pimple kind of started peeking through. Uh, I went to dinner with my brother-in-law. Don't really have any like around my mouth that's wearing off from eating. Um, man, my highlighter is still really bright. My forehead still looks pretty good. The only place it's kind of worn off is right along my nose, but I mean, that's pretty standard. I'm shocked. Uh, it still looks very blurring right along here, like these pores right here. Just my nose area is looking a little bit dry, but other than that, like the foundation held all day long. Um, it doesn't feel greasy on my face. Usually my forehead, I didn't blot my forehead. All I did was what you guys saw earlier. I have not taken any additional powder, any additional blotting. It is held up beautifully. So I give this two thumbs up. Yes, yes, yes. If you are uh, needing your foundation to last all day, stay pretty matte. Um, blur, this is going to be your best friend. If you have dry skin, maybe use a more hydrating primer. Um, I just used a pretty standard one. Really didn't dry out my skin other than right here, just looks a tiny bit dry on my nose. But yes, stamp of approval. I really like it and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you've tried this foundation, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.